inequality symbols. Inequality symbols can be used to describe situations when we have unknown values as well. For example, if Antonio knows he has more than three pencils in his book bag, he could represent this situation as P greater than three, where P stands for the number of pencils. Antonio could have four, five, six, seven, eight pencils or more. He could not have three pencils because we know the number of pencils must be more than three. Let's try another one. If Tiffany has less than ten dollars in her wallet, we could represent the amount of money in Tiffany's wallet as M less than ten, where M stands for the amount of money. Tiffany could have nine dollars and ninety-nine cents in her wallet, five dollars, one cent, or even zero dollars. Tiffany can't have ten dollars because we know she has less than ten dollars. This is where the next inequality symbols are different. So, if Antonio had three or more pencils, we could describe the number of pencils as P greater than or equal to three. The symbol here, greater than or equal to, lets us know that the number of pencils could equal three or could be more than three. Similarly for Tiffany, if she had ten dollars or less in her wallet, we could represent the amount of money she has as M less than or equal to ten. The less than or equal to symbol lets us know that the amount of money Tiffany has could be exactly ten dollars or could be less than ten dollars. In this lesson, you learned about the five main inequality symbols and how to represent situations using inequalities.